This video is going to be a review of Mitsubishi Electric's available ducted systems that are compatible with the Victorian Energy Upgrades rebates, but it also will be applicable even if you're not looking to claim rebates. So this video is going to cover all of the ducted offerings that Mitsubishi have that are covered under the rebates, which is the 10 kilowatt model, the 12.5 kilowatt model, the 16, the 18 and the 20 kilowatt models. From 10 to 18, you've got single phase. And from 16 to 20, you also have the options of three phase with the 20 kilowatt only offering three phase. So I'll start by covering the difference between single and three phase. Then I'll go into the benefits and features of Mitsubishi over other brands. And then I'll talk about the energy efficiency of Mitsubishi. I've done an AI comparison, uh, comparing all of the systems that are available in the scheme. And I'll let you know where Mitsubishi stands. Uh, it's quite a good brand. Um, spoiler alert and the warranty and brand considerations from getting a Mitsubishi system. So my name is Jesse. I'm from Gridless. Only time I'm going to say that in the video, we can connect you with installers that are rated super highly in the Victorian energy upgrade scheme and help you get a really good system and competitive quotes um, and good warranties uh, by working with the right installers. So if you're interested in that, you can visit gridless.com.au and you can apply or you can give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out. So the difference between the single and three phase systems, if you look it up online, here's the answer that you'll find. You'll find that three phase is generally going to be more efficient, but there have been tests done on all of these systems by the VU and all of these have pretty much the same efficiency. The real difference is at the larger models and kilowatt sizes, you will need to go three phase and that's more expensive to do. But the other benefit of three phase is that it is quite a bit quieter than single phase systems. That's the main advantage that you're gonna get rather than real energy efficiency. So now let's talk about the rebates that are available for Mitsubishi electric systems. So I cover this in another video and I'll leave a link to that video in the comments where I completely go on how you can calculate the rebate amounts that you're eligible for yourself. But if you don't wanna do that, I will give you some indications of what you could get. It completely depends on the system size. The larger the system size, typically the, the more rebates you're going to get. So a 20 kilowatt system will get more rebates than a 12.5 kilowatt system. Also, the type of upgrade that you're doing from no decommissioning to ducted gas to split to whatever, it does change. So if you want to calculate specifically what you can get yourself, the exact rebates, go watch my other video. Okay, so the rebates indicative that you can get for a ducted gas swap over is seven to $3,400. For an old ducted system replacement, you're looking at about $1,700. And for no decommissioning, you're looking at almost nothing to $500. So now I'll talk about the benefits of the Mitsubishi electric system. Now there are quite a few benefits, but none of them really strike out as too unique to me. You've got R32 refrigerant, which most of the systems which are approved under the scheme have, which is more environmentally friendly than alternatives. You have optional zone and Wi-Fi controller. The touch controller for the Mitsubishi is actually really good, and you can get that in a four zone or an eight zone. Uh, and it also comes with optional Wi-Fi, which can be installed as well. It comes with inverter technology. Now, I haven't checked, but I would suspect that pretty much every system available in the government scheme would have inverter technology available. And basically, um, Mitsubishi have produced a really nice graph of, uh, which explains how an inverter works. So typically, if you don't have an inverter, your system will only have one speed, which means you're gonna get, if it's a really hot day and you turn your system on, it'll get too cold, it'll get really, really cold, and then your system will turn off, and then it'll gradually heat up until it gets too hot, and then your system will turn on, and then get too cold and then etc. The cycle will repeat. Gets too hot, gets too cold, the system turns on and off constantly, which is annoying. So the in inverters actually fix that and they really help with energy efficiency too by running the fan at different speeds. So you have a constant room temperature. That's how inverters uh, work and they happen to save energy too. So I ran a study on the efficiency of all the units in the VU program against Mitsubishi and here's what it comes up with. Mitsubishi generally show good to excellent efficiency across various metrics. They are particularly strong in some areas, indicating good seasonal cooling efficiency, but sometimes they're beaten by other 
top performers. So nothing out of the ordinary that we wouldn't expect from Mitsubishi over here. A very efficient brand. And finally, when it comes to warranties, Mitsubishi has a solid track record. When you look online for what people say about Mitsubishi, uh, installers say that they're very reliable and they have very good warranty and aftercare support, which isn't necessarily true of every single brand. So there you have it, a review of Mitsubishi. It's one of my favorite systems and one of the systems that we recommend a lot. Uh, if you're looking for any particular system or any video idea, please let me know. I'd love to help out. Uh, thank you for watching.